Ad paid for by Marjan Philhauer for Supervisor 2020. Financial disclosures are available at sfethics.org. Hi, thank you, Marjan, for having me today. Because, um, um, you know, we in the Richmond area, we just like all the neighbor, they just worry about crime. Like lately, especially during pandemic, and then the crime is raised a little bit. So it's not a secret at all. The property crime has like remained high for the past several years, especially now. Because feeling safe in Richmond district is not a thing of the past. And I live in Richmond for over 40 years. As you said, I raised my two kids. Now my two grandchildren are all in the Richmond district. And then it was one of the nicer and safety neighborhood in San Francisco. And now there are many safety concerns in the resident that the resident face daily. And the worry about crossing the street without being hit by a bicycle or by a car. And then they worry about answering their door in the middle of the day because home invasions. And they worry about our city leaders are going to take funding from the people who are out there to protect us. Something must be done. So I'm glad that I'm beyond this public safety so we can mention some that the neighborhood that worry most of what they are being the daily. Um, so we have to continue to advance public safety for our community in San Francisco, which will be guided by a community input to address the needs of our neighborhood. So Richmond residents rely heavily on the San Francisco police to address, like to protect us, to like for burglar and all that. So over 80% of the survey that they believe property crimes burglar are the biggest public safety issue in Richmond district. So 100% of the participants do not believe that San Francisco is doing enough to address property crime in San Francisco. So for instance, walking in our neighborhood has become a big safety concern over the past few years. Between phone calls, texts, and email, drivers are more distracted than ever. Because my own grandsons were almost become the victim of a distracted driver while they're walking to and from school, and we only live only two blocks away. So there should be signal what we suggest that, that there must be signals at all crosswalk within two blocks of our school to help make drivers aware that they are presidents, they are <clears throat> pedestrians, I'm sorry, across the street. Because adding more speed bumps could be added to keep the drivers more aware of what is in front of them. So there are numerous, lately there have been numerous home invasion in Richmond recently as well. And it is getting to the point that we do, we do not want to answer the door for the deliverers out of the fear of who is outside the door. So if we answer the door and there's a chance, like someone, that's, Someone is terrible, it could happen, and then we don't want to answer the, and the package left at the door. So I try to wrap up is which leads us to be def defunding of our police department. How can anyone that re resigns in the Richmond district feel safe? If we at taking money from those who has want to protect us and serve us. I think there's a greater need for police presence now more than ever. And then we need to find and elect officials who have our residents' protection and safety in mind, not their own agendas. So this is what I'm going to talk today. Thank you.